pursuit lesbian, I love you. Tamil gorilla, I salute you. Disabled Inuit, I embrace you. Come, you all, to my home. I have muffins. Hi. My name is Paul Hamilton, and I am a poet. And I'd like to present to you some extracts from my soon-to-be-published collection of poetry entitled Shadows of Reflections. I'd like to ask you to join me on a journey, a journey into my words. It's very simple. These are my words. Hold your nose, close your eyes, jump, 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 jump. Time, like a rancid stallion, gallops along the bridle path of our rotting lives, whinnying or losing, we are all saddled, spurred on by time's hoof, I am your dying proof, you tie me to me time, I, me, tiny me time, you tie tiny me to me. As a poet, and even as an ordinary person, I am utterly fascinated by suffering. The agonized shrieking of an innocent, subjected to hideous physical torture, is a poem. Sometimes, as a poet, I'm sick with shame as I find myself thinking, well, isn't it worth it? I've always had sympathy and empathy with people who refuse to compromise. I believe it's a poet's duty to defy and ridicule the status quo, mocking all over the world. My middle name is Defiance. I have two middle names, actually. One's Defiance and the other is Michael. This next poem is one of my personal favorites. It deals with how our minds are conditioned by society. It's called Expectation. My friend Alistair McCarty has ginger hair. He eats porridge for breakfast. He is, to be truthful, cautious with his money. He drinks whiskey. He enjoys football. My friend Alistair McCarty is Welsh. Yes, yep, yep. I often come here to the cemetery in Highgate. I come here for a good old think. I think about all kinds of things, but mostly it I think about death. How much it scares me. Don't want to die. Sorry, just can we This poem came to me about three years ago. I was sitting up late one night on a whiskey drunk and it just slipped out like a newborn foal. 
It concerns itself with a seminal chapter in the history of inhumanity and suffering. The title of this poem is spelt U-U-A-A-R-R-G-H. It's pronounced July 1945 Hiroshima Hush Boom Loud Your mush Room Spread like claret on gingham. 